beautiful, magnificent mountain ash forest in the Central Highlands at Mount Donabuang, which is home to our state faunal emblem, the Leadbeater's Possum. My name's Jo Antrobus, I'm the District Operations Coordinator uh, for Parks Victoria for Dandenong Ranges, Yo Ranges District, which mostly covers the Central Highlands of Victoria. The Leadbeater's Possum is absolutely gorgeous. It's a small possum, weighs less than an apple, it would fit in the palm of your hand, big round eyes, also been known in the past as a fairy possum because it likes to flip through the forest. It's a very uh, elusive species. First specimen was collected in 1867. By 1960, it had not been seen in the wild for 50 years, so the government declared that it was extinct. Interestingly, it was rediscovered in 1961 in the forest near Marysville. But unfortunately, it's endangered and was more recently upgraded to critically endangered. The Leadbeater's possum are really reliant on hollows for shelter at night to help keep them away from predators, to ha have warmth, somewhere to breed, somewhere to have their young. Mountain ash forests and particularly um, eucalyptus regnans are really important for that. The really challenging thing for the Leadbeater's possum is that for a mountain ash tree to develop a hollow suitable for Leadbeater's it takes at least 190 to 200 years. Unsustainable logging practices and bushfires take out the trees, the mountain ash trees, so they don't get to develop hollows. With climate change, we're more likely to get regular high intensity fires. We're getting more extremes in temperature, so that impacts on how hot they burn and what area they cover. When they get severely burnt, trees collapse and don't get to form hollows, which means hollows are in great shortage in the landscape. Science is really, really important for that because they can't tell us what they need, but if we study them and we do the research and the monitoring, the evidence is really clear. And at the moment, the evidence is showing that they're critically endangered. And I think we all should be doing something to try and address that. Parks Victoria is one of many project partners that are working to try and conserve and improve habitat for Leadbeater's possums. We're doing a lot of monitoring of the possums, so trying to understand where they occur to monitor a really elusive species, it's really important to use science as much as we can. So there's a number of really important tools we use. One is a thermal camera. Rather than using bright lights, um, we can just use a thermal camera and detect a heat signal. We often put remote cameras in the bush with a bait feeder. And once there's movement near the bait feeder, they take photos so we can get records of where the possums are. We can use radio collars to better understand how they're moving through the landscape looking at where they might be known shortages of natural hollows. And then we can look at whether um, nest boxes are appropriate for that location. Nest boxes have proved to be really effective. But the key thing about boxes is that they're not the solution. They're to bridge the gap whilst the natural trees form hollows. This is the area where I grew up, so this area is really important to me. I feel that you know, we're one species on this planet and there's so many other species and that we have a duty of care to try and take care of all the species that can't speak for themselves. The more we understand them, the better we can understand their needs and the better we can do to ensure that our conservation methods and how we're managing our parks protects their needs. So I really encourage all students and everyone really to get involved in science. There's incredible opportunities, it's things you can learn, explore. We can make a difference. The data is really, really valuable. Get involved in local projects, get involved with your school, come out into the Central Highlands and connect with nature and visit some of these beautiful locations. And just caring for the natural world and the other species that live on this amazing planet.